My name is John Carmichael. I am a astrophotographer. The most important thing is to remind yourself that your phone is still a camera and all cameras have a sensor. And the sensor behaves just like our eyeballs. So if you're constantly just pointing your phone camera up at the sun directly, you are damaging your phone's camera. And these are not cheap anymore, as we all know. So you want to protect your camera, camera phone as much as possible. So there's a lot of really affordable options such as this. Most importantly, it has a solar filter to put over the camera, uh, all three lenses on, on this particular phone. I would recommend, to be honest, to get a tripod, have your phone set up, kind of get all the settings right ahead of time so that when the eclipse actually happens, you can actually just enjoy yourself. So there's gonna be literally millions of photos of the eclipse out there. Uh, I know how tempting it is to capture it with your phone or even try to use your phone as a way to look at the eclipse closer by zooming it in. But again, only do so with one of these filters. If you put it on a tripod and you just kind of can enjoy the moment, you will never regret that. If you can't find one of these filters specifically for phone, which it attaches with Velcro, um, you can just take your Eclipse glasses and put that over the camera. It works the same way. <laughs>